S data for uh, one five with the latest balloon. Why don't you jump, tell me what the uh, two and a half hour balloon showed? Two and a half hour balloon showed that the nominal aim point seems to be degrading still down to 1300 touchdown with the closed boards. Okay, close in. Close in is 2200 feet with 20 percent speed with 20 percent speed break. So we still buy close in. Okay, so close in, uh, knob for 1.5 looks good, and we got a good go 3.3 three if we need it, albeit a tailwind. That's correct. A little bit more dynamic heck, maybe. Okay. Yes. I'll go for the deer burn on time. GC? Go. Guidance? Go. Fido? Go. Prop? Go. GNC? Go. Max? Go. Eagle? Go. Ecom? Go. FAO? Go. ACO? Go. DPS? We're go. Inco? Go. Uh, booster? Go. Surgeon? Go. All righty. Uh, pending weather. We'll get the assessment for this last dive for the team, just tell you where I'm headed. Uh, based on the STA assessments uh, that we've got thus far, uh, if we're wrong and we have a broken deck at seven, uh, one, it's going to be pretty close to scattered. There's not much differentiation there. Uh, the crew's going to have a horizon. They have a moon. Uh, workload is low on these dives, and based on the STA assessment, uh, it would be a safe approach. And um, and no liens against the vehicle or nav system, uh, so I feel pretty good about pressing into this opportunity. So we'll get this next dive assessment and make a final recommendation. It looks like, uh, for the most part, uh, through the earlier dive and uh, and currently with this last dive that uh, Fergie just executed, the uh, the cloud layers he's seeing, if anything, are uh, are very thin in the uh, like in the 8,000 to 7,500 foot region. Uh, from the earlier report, it was uh, 8,000 to 7,500 foot, and uh, he was reporting able to see uh, xenons through that layer. Uh, from the first dive, his workload was very low. Uh, when he did press out after that dive, uh, out to uh, 31 miles, out 210, um, he only detected like about a mile wide swath of, uh, of a single cloud layer uh, that was anything of note, but uh, nothing significant. He was uh, 10,000 feet um, at the time and uh, didn't see anything beneath um, at that point. Uh, from the last dive, uh, he made an uh, approach from the 180 to final, uh, saw good cultural lighting uh, through uh, numerous cities throughout the turn he was able to see in the distance, so good cultural lighting uh, visibility through. Uh, between 12,000 and 8,000, there was uh, a layer uh, the, that was uh, it looked like two distinct layers. He thought he was VMC between the two, and they were both uh, fairly thin. Um, and then uh, below 8,000 feet, uh, it was VMC to the deck. Um, he thinks that was kind of a centralized, uh, just one centralized uh, cloud grouping and doesn't think it's going to be an issue. So uh, he sees the workload is very low, uh, even if it was to uh, uh, be a 7,000-foot broken layer, should not be an issue. Uh, and that's just, he doesn't think there's a 7,000 foot broken layer. It's just, I understand. If we press him for 7,000 uh, based on the forecast, it should be no issue for the landing. Okay, good summary, Scorch. Uh, appreciate that. Let's get the dive numbers from him real quick. He can hold the winds till the last and just give us the touchdown conditions. We'll get him. Endeavor Houston, uh, Zembo, uh, Norm went around the room. Uh, the only thing we don't have insight to is uh, Block 29, and we assume you got that all set already in the deorbit prep. That was just the uh, mid-deck uh, speaker. So if you're happy, uh, we're happy. Okay, and uh, CJ, that is still on. Those guys are going to turn that off as part of their seal process. So uh, that is a complete check, and uh, thanks very much for backing us up. They have a go for the deorbit burn. All right. Give them a weather summary after that. Endeavor Houston, you are go for the deorbit burn. Copy, go for the deorbit burn. Sambo, uh, real briefly, uh, Fergie's been flying around the STA. He's done a couple dives to uh, KSC 15. He says it's a great night to uh, land in Florida. Uh, there may be a couple of very thin decks that you might uh, punch through. Uh, he's breaking out uh, just at 8,000 feet with nothing below, and the last deck was so thin he could uh, see through it in most places. So uh, it looks uh, really good for KSC 15. Excellent. KSC 15, we will do it. Uh, thanks very much, and thanks to Fergie for checking that out.
Flight prop, two engines arm press, good config for the burn. Good config for the burn, Capcom. Endeavour Houston, you are in a good config for the deorbit burn. Copy, good config for the burn. Flight guidance, good burn, no trim required. Good burn. Good burn, Endeavour, no trim required. Copy, good burn, no trim required. All right, good burn, folks, and we're in the post burn. Prop any deltas? Negative flight, no deltas. See DPS and guidance three to three on time. Guys, let's go. DPS, let's go. Any deltas to the uh, gimbal power down? No deltas flight. Okay, secondary actuator check not required. It's not required, sir. Prop, you'll give me a dump time once you get a better handle on it. We'll go flight. And if you had any thoughts on jet deselects or anything for your time? No, if I will have enough forward where it'll be long enough. All righty, good deal. High fluid thermal conditioning not required, Max? That's correct, flight. Flight Fido? Fido. Go ahead. Uh, convoy, nav eights, and radars are all green and ready to support at the Cape. And okay. we'd like to release Edwards and Northrop. Okay, you have a go to release Edwards and Northrop. Tell them thanks for their support. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. And um, keep me status on the, the KSC. Will do. Flight weather on the flight loop. See, so you got all the latest OBS. I do. Latest observation. Just got in from the Cape, and it is a go observation. Broken at 11,000, overcast at 20,000. Okay, broken at 11, overcast 20, and the uh, STA pilot reported that uh, it's scattered at around 12 right now, and a uh, real beautiful view under that of the runway, and a uh, really nice setup. So, uh, CJ, we'll pass that on to him after we hand down and give him the energy call here. Go for command on Iowa. Endeavour, Houston, Energy, Ground Track, and NAV are go, touching down 2300 at 195. Endeavour copies. Ecom, did you see your 12K steps? Oh, Ecom, we got good rad flow after 12K steps. All right, copy that. I got it. Guns, take GPS. Endeavour, take GPS. Copy, take GPS. Endeavour Houston, uh, latest report from Fergie and the STA is that it's widely scattered below at uh, 12,000 feet. It's a beautiful night to uh, land in Florida. Yeah, it sounds very beautiful, Houston. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing it. Let's see, Fido, how are we looking approaching the hack? On energy as we approach, no change to winds or weather. All right, GNC, any advisories? No advisories, we did get a good repo flight. Copy, Max. Nominal shoot. Copy all. Endeavour Houston, you are on energy approaching the hack. No change to winds or weather, go for nominal shoot deploy. Copy on energy, uh, the weather and nominal shoot deploy. By GNC, the pilot is now flying. Copy. On at the 180. Endeavor, on at the 180. Got it, copy on at the 180. In flight, the commander is now flying. Copy that. Gear down and lock. Copy gear. Main gear touchdown. Copy. Nose gear touchdown. Ground speed enabled. 
Yes. The immediate post line, the Deltos. Max? None. Eagle? None. Ecom? None. GNC? None. Prop? None. DPS? None. Inco? None. Booster? None. We'll meet them on 5 3 Capcom. Great landing. Max, any concern with the burning plume? None in flight. Not enough crosswind to worry about the tail? That's correct, flight. Folks, we're getting into the uh, post landing here. Sing out when you see your steps. Or if you have Delphus. Houston Endeavor, wheel stop. Roger, wheel stop Endeavor. Welcome home. Congratulations to you and the crew on an outstanding mission. Installing the Tranquility Node and opening up the cupola's windows to the world. Well, Houston, it's great to be home. It was a great adventure. We copy uh, Zambo, there are no immediate post-landing deltas. We'll meet you on page 5-3 of the entry checklist.